I'm a musician who uh, is also a music producer. I my primary instrument is the guitar, but I sing also. So you could call me a singer songwriter also. I mean, I have other passions other than music too. Like uh, I'm a small time uh, a gardener, a balcony gardener, and things like that. And uh, but yes, primarily I'm an artist and a musician. I was musically inclined from a very young age. Uh, I think my parents noticed that, and how I used to even uh, make a fuss for eating lunch. I would eat lunch only if I were to listen to a concert at the same time and things like that. So I was always passionate about music, always interested about music and listening to new music from a very young age. The point at which I decided to be a full-time musician, a professional musician, was when I was in college in India in Chennai. My exposure to the IITs and the MCCs, all those competitions, and you know, when I competed with uh, over there and met so many musicians and formed bands with them, you know, on the spot and things like that. Uh, I think those things excited me the most, and that's when I uh, kind of decided, you know, after my college degree, that I would uh, become a full-time musician. Musicians know how hard it is to live a musician's life and uh, you know uh, I think uh, being an Indian I think my first struggle was with my parents as you know most young people uh, to convince them uh, you know that music was in me and that I could do something with music and you know understand me of uh, not a kind of a person who would do a nine to five job you know uh, so to make them understand this and to actually come to a point where they are actually proud of you that takes a very long time what you think you have achieved has no comparison to what uh, the parents think that you should achieve <laughs> Once I started a career in music, that's when you really realize what are the hurdles that you have to go through, you know. Once you start living that life, that's when you understand, you know, it's not just about making songs or, you know, it's about the business, it's about improving yourself constantly, it's about, uh, you know, listening and growing in many other ways, maybe even becoming a better human being of sorts, you know. There's so many things that goes into it. Just out of the blue, I uh, got a call from AR uh, one day saying, uh, I want you to play guitar for this song. And uh, he asked me, uh, do you play acoustic and electric? I said, yeah, I play both guitars. And then he said, uh, okay, so I'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. And finally, when that call came to me, it 
it was a big moment for me i mean uh, it took me some time to realize that uh, maybe a few minutes after the call but uh, i just realized like a big thing just happened you know and i didn't even it just felt like you know a normal day i didn't get any sleep i went straight to the studio at 10 just the whole atmosphere and being in his studio and being with him and uh, uh, it was great and uh, Yeah ever since that happened I mean he liked my work and I like being with him also he was a great guy and uh, yeah I mean rest is history after that uh, I mean we worked a lot people have seen me in this whole flamboyant attire and my hair you know being all over the place and me all all my photos if you you know if you've noticed it's uh, i've got quite an angry face in them i don't smile too much you know so a lot of people think that you know i must be a tough cookie and i must be so hard to work with and well in in real life i'm really uh, i'm not uh, the person that they think i am you know but you know i'd like to say that you know i'm very approachable and anyone can come and talk to me and you know <laughs> i mean you don't you know i'm not a scary monster i'm just a normal guy and a very peaceful guy so i won't even raise my voice you know so <laughs> please come and see me <laughs> Thomas and I'm a musician and a music producer, singer, songwriter and guitarist. <laughs>